Hello viewers, welcome to Civil Learning Online. And today in this video, I will be discussing about Kramer's rule. And guys, I am quite sure that you are going to love this video. And let me tell you one thing that the Kramer's rule is very simplest method of solving the system of equations. And here the question is solve the following system of equations and find the value of x, y, and z using Kramer's rule. And here the system of equations are x plus y plus z equals to 8, x minus y plus 2z equals to 6, 3x plus 5y minus 7z equals to 14. So guys without any further delay let's get the solution of this system of equation. So guys in very first step let us write down the equation in the matrix form we in this here what we need to do is we will write these three equations in the matrix form so uh, writing writing the equation in two matrix form We can write it as here the coefficient of x is 1, coefficient of y is 1, coefficient of z is 1. Similarly, here the, in second equation, the coefficient of x is 1, minus 1, 2, 3, 5, and minus 7. Now, after that, what we need to do is we have to write down these variables x y z it will be equals to these terms 8 6 and 14 this is the matrix form of the given equations now what we need to do is we have to find the determinant of this ma coefficient matrix so uh, let us calculate the determinant of this coefficient matrix and let us denote let us denote the determinant by capital d so we have d equals to and we can write it ha here as determinant determinant of coefficient matrix is so d equals to let us uh, consider this first column so what we will have here one times now if we have considered this column so and we have selected this one we have selected this one so cover this and this now the remaining item members are minus 1 5 2 and minus 7 what I said minus 1 5 2 minus 7 now if we remember the sign convention for the matrix terms what we will have here this is positive negative positive negative positive negative and positive negative positive so our second term is negative so it will be minus 1 times now we have selected this one so cover this and this then remaining item will be taken so 1 3 2 minus 7 1 3 2 minus 7 in first step what we did we selected we selected this one so we covered this and this similarly in second step when we took this one then we covered this and this and the remaining items are written here similarly uh, if we take this positive one then it will be positive one because i told you the sign convention positive negative positive so this will be positive one and one three minus one five one three minus 1 5 now guys what we need to do is we take downwards positive and upward negative so we need to multiply this uh, inside term uh, inside term with this outer one so this one is as it is and now multiply this 7 times 1 will be 7 and minus time minus will be positive and 7 times 7 will be 7 again 5 times 2 will be 10 and what I said 
downward positive upward negative so minus this is a going moving upward so this will be minus 10 minus 1 times downward positive so 1 times minus 7 will be minus 7 again if when we are moving upward so 3 times 2 will be minus 6 plus 1 times 5 times 1 will be 5 and minus uh, 3 times minus will be minus 3 but we are moving upward so minus 3 times minus so it will be positive 3 what I said upward uh, upward we need to take negative so here 3 times minus 1 is minus 3 and again minus 3 is multiplied with negative sign because it is moving upward so it will be positive 3 now solve this we will get the final value of d so it is going to be minus 3 minus and uh, 7 plus 6 will be equals to minus 13 plus 8 on solving this we will get uh, this will become positive 13 so 13 minus 3 will be equal to 10 plus 8 will be equals to 18 so we have got the value of capital D now see here guys what we have according to Kramer's rule if we are calculating the value of a small x then we have x will be equals to dx upon capital D similarly y will be equals to dy upon capital D similarly z will be equals to dz upon capital D means we have got the value of capital D now we need to calculate the value of dx dy and dz now see here guys this is also very simple steps to find the calculate value of dx dy dz and see how to calculate those values suppose we are calculating dx then what we need to do is uh, from this coefficient matrix relieve the coefficient or uh, uh, this or uh, the this, leave the element of uh, this raw sorry yeah this uh, first column then write down these call values it will be 1 minus 1 5 1 2 minus 7 and after that what we need to do is we have to replace the element of this column with this column so it will be written as 8 6 14 now calculate the determinant of these terms then what we need to do is we have to take again the same step is repeated here 8 times I am calculating the determinant taking this raw so uh, if I take uh, 8 then what we need to do is we have to write down the remaining terms then it is minus 1 5 2 minus 7 minus 1 5 2 minus 7 again then if we take my this minus 1 then it will be minus 1 times 6 14 2 minus 7 positive 1 times positive 1 times 6 14 minus 1 5 6 14 minus 1 5 so guys see here what we need to do is we have to solve this so 8 times 7 times 1 will be 7 and minus time minus will become positive 7 so and now downward this is positive upward will be negative so 5 times 2 will be 10 but it is going moving upward so minus 10 minus 1 times 6 times 7 equals to 42 and minus will be here and 14 times 2 will be 28 and moving upward so minus 28 positive 1 times 6 times 5 will be equals to 30 and 14 times 1 will be equals to 14 and minus and moving upward minus sign so minus times minus will be again positive 14 now solve this and we will get the value of dx as minus 24 plus 70 plus 44 which will be equals to 90 so guys i hope you understood that step now let us calculate the value of dy so guys for calculating the value of dy what we need to do is we have to replace the element of this column of y with this element and 
further everything will be the same what we did in d while, while calculating dx we replaced this with this members and while calculating dy we will replace this with this member again while calculating dz we will replace this with this so calculate let's calculate dy and uh, what we need to do is see here 1 1 3 as it is and element of this column will be replaced so 8 6 14 and again further it will be same so 1 2 minus 7 now calculate the determinate determinant taking the the element or considering the element of the first row so it will be 1 times 1 times cover this 6 14 2 7 minus 7 so 6 14 2 minus 7 and minus 8 times minus 8 times it will be cover this and this so 1 3 2 minus 7 1 3 2 minus 7 plus 1 times it will be 1 3 6 14 now solve this 6 times 7 will be equals to 42 and minus sign will be here plus minus minus and 14 times 2 will be 28 and upward so negative minus 8 times 7 times 1 will be equals to 7 and minus will be here 3 times 2 will be equals to 6 and moving upward negative sign plus 1 times 14 minus 18 now put down the value here so 40 solve this we will have here minus 70 plus 100 4 and minus 4 will be equals to 30 similarly calculate the value of dz now we will replace the element of z so uh, sorry element of the column of z items so uh, here it is we need to copy this up to here 1 minus 1 5 1 minus 1 5 and replace the element of z with 8614 so write it here 8 sorry 6 14 now find, find the determinant with is taking the first row so it will again be 1 times cover this and this so it will be minus 1 5 6 14 minus 1 times it will be 1 3 6 14 3 6 14 plus 8 times 1 3 minus 1 5 so on solving this we will have here minus let me show you minus 14 plus 30 minus 1 times 14 minus 18 plus 8 times 5 plus 3 minus times 3 and minus with min, minus and again it is multiplied with minus sign due to the upward moment so sign is changed here so on solving this we will get minus 44 plus 4 plus 64 finally 24 now we need to calculate the value of x so what i said x equals to d x upon capital d and we have got the value of capital dx which is equals to 90 so 90 divided by 90 divided by capital d and the value of capital d is 18 so 90 divided by 18 which will be equals to 5 similarly y equals to dy by capital d which will be equals to 30 by 18 which will be equals to 5 by 3 similarly z equals to dz by capital d so 24 by 18 will be equals to 4 by 3 now you can check whether your the answer we have calculated 
is correct or not for that what we need to do is we have to put the value of x y z in the given equation let it be represented by my small x small y and small z so our first equation is x plus y plus z equals to 8 if we this is just check put the value of x is 5 plus y is 5 by 3 plus z is 4 by 3 equals to 8 means we need to get the it, it must be equals to 8 then only our answer is correct then 5 plus 9 by 3 which will be equals to 5 plus 3 equals to 8 which means which is correct so guys i have shown you each and every step to find the solution as well as checking the answer i hope you enjoyed the today's lecture and for more videos uh, stay connected with civil learning online to subscribe this channel and if you are new here and you on like this concept then to subscribe this channel and do share with your friend and do not forget to like and press the bell icon thank you have a nice day